Another royal wedding. Prince Harry leaves new mum Meghan at home with baby Archie to join the Queen, Philip and Pippa for third royal wedding in a year as Her Majesty's cousin Lady Gabriella Windsor marries in Windsor. The Queen, Prince Philip, the Duke of Sussex, Princess Anne and the Middletons led the guests today as royal bride Lady Gabriella Windsor married Thomas Kingston in the biggest society wedding of the year so far. Prince Harry was at St. George's Chapel in the grounds of Windsor Castle just 12 days after the birth of Archie, his first son with wife Meghan, and on the eve of their first wedding anniversary. The 34-year-old royal arrived with peep show actress Sophie Winkleman, who is married to Lady Gabriella's brother Lord Frederick. Harry was accompanied by his uncle and aunt, the Earl of Wessex and the Princess Royal who was joined by her second husband Vice Admiral Timothy Lawrence for the wedding of Lady Gabriella, the daughter of Prince and Princess Michael of Kent, to financier Mr Kingston. The Queen was joined by Prince Philip as the Duke of Edinburgh made a rare public appearance two years after his retirement. Other royals at the chapel today included Sarah, Duchess of York with her ex-husband Prince Andrew and their daughter Princess Beatrice with her boyfriend Eduardo Marpelli Mazzi. Philip appeared in good spirits and joked with the Dean of Windsor, the right relevant David Connor, who was waiting to greet the monarch. The Queen wore a pink hairline coat, and a lilac and pink silk dress by Stuart Parvin, with a matching hat by Rachel Trevor Morgan. Foreign royalty included King Constantine II of Greece and his wife Queen Anne Marie who arrived in a car. Pippa Middleton, a longtime friend of Mr Kingston, and her husband James Matthew smiled as they arrived along with her parents Carol and Michael Middleton. Pippa's brother James Middleton was also there, joined by his French girlfriend Alice Athevenant. Lady Gabriella and her Mr Kingston kissed on the steps of St George's following the ceremony. The newlywed couple were all smiles as they left, closely followed by the bridal party and members of their immediate family. Posing for photos on the steps of the chapel. The couple lovingly gazed at each other before getting into a claret-colored vintage wedding car. Lady Gabriella was helped into it by the bridal party due to her long train and veil. Buckingham Palace later released details about the wedding service, with the hymns sung by the congregation including Tell Out My Soul, Be Thou My Vision, and Love Divine, All Loves Excelling. The readings were taken from Ecclesiastes 3, Philippians 4 a passage from Shakespeare's Love's Labor's Lost, and Oh Tell Me the Truth About Love, by W. H. Auden. They were read by Joanne O'Connolly, Emma Murray, Ems Winkleman and Sarah St. George. The bride and groom chose Paul Thomas to design the flower arrangements for the service. Flowers in the chapel included coral sunset peonies, coral and white roses, white hydrangea, white delphiniums, apricot stalks and seasonal flowers as well as the creamy ivory Ella Rose, by David Austin, named for the bride. The cherry and apple blossom trees and shrubs which stood outside St. George's were from Hillier Nurseries. The wedding reception was held at Frogmore House, where Meghan and Harry staged their wedding dinner, and the bride and groom cut a cake made by Fiona Cairns, who also made the Duke and the beaming bride had her long veil arranged by the designer on the steps of the chapel. The bridal party of six bridesmaids and three page boys, enter the 15th century chapel moments before. Lady Gabriella wore a Russian fringe style tiara also worn by her grandmother, Princess Marina, Duchess of Kent, and her mother, Princess Michael of Kent, for their wedding days. Lady Gabriella's hair was styled in elegant curls, with a long veil designed in a similar fashion to the dress. Embroidered with flowers and embellishments. Layers of blush-colored tulle and organdy created the body of the wedding gown under the lace, fanning out for a long train. Known as Ella, the bride had a creamy ivory Ella rose in her bouquet alongside myrtle, a tradition in many royal bridal flower arrangements. The bridesmaids and page boys wore outfits by the same designer. Isabella and Maud Windsor, Lady Gabriella's nieces, and the other bridesmaids wore cream dresses with blush underlays and sashes with flower rings in their hair in a similar style to the bouquet. Duchess of Sussex's cake. The three-tiered confection was made with three recipes including fruit cake, Victoria sponge and lemon limoncello sponge. It featured pale blush icing, and the leaf border surrounding the base was inspired by fabric within Frogmore House. 
The decoration included seasonal sugar flowers and shades of the lacework on the bride's wedding dress. Guests at the reception were served smoked Scottish salmon and asparagus risotto in canapes, plus carrot chocolates from the Isle of Sark, where the couple were engaged. Flowers at the reception were by John Plested. Earlier, when the groom Mr. Kingston was seen walking to St. George's Chapel accompanied by his best man, he was applauded by a small group of residents who live within the castle grounds. He was closely followed by mother of the bride Princess Michael of Kent, wearing a lilac dress and embroidered overcoat, who was joined by Lady Gabriella's brother Lord Frederick Windsor. Lady Gabriella arrived soon after, wearing a lace gown by Italian designer Luisa Beccaria. Arriving at the chapel in a claret-colored vintage car, she was accompanied by her father, 